Here is the worst part of trying to live in your car. I guess you're living in your car because you lost your job, but it doesn't make any sense today. Employers are begging for people to go to work. So if you're living in your car and all these jobs are available, that means you just don't want to work, okay? But anyways, this is, this is the problem, huge problem with trying to turn your car into your home. Auto insurance. You can't get auto insurance living in your car unless you don't move it. And then you got to find an insurance company that will only ask you for your zip code. But most of them want to know, they want an address, and they don't want a P.O. box. So what do you end up doing with all these, because of all these hoops you have to jump through to get insurance, because now you're living in your car. You start driving without insurance, because you can't get it. That's fine until you get pulled over and the police ask you for your license and insurance. You don't have any insurance. You're either going to get a ticket or they're going to tow your rig. Okay, second scenario, you get into a minor fender bender. Well, you got two choices. Stay there and wait for the police to come or take off. In that case, they're going to chase you down. So you stay there. Well, what do the police ask you for? Your license and insurance. You get towed again or get a ticket. This is the problem with you say, oh, I'm going to sleep in my car. I'm going to live in my car and save money. You're not going to have any auto insurance and all the problems that come with it. You know what? Do whatever you can. Get a job and get a place to live permanently.